Hey everybody and welcome back. Uh, so we've already got our fuel tank off, we've got our air box removed, um, now it's time to do the spark plugs. Um, I've looked around on the internet, couldn't really find a whole lot of information on, on uh, uh, changing the spark plug, so I wanted to do a quick video on that. It's not that tough, um, but uh, um, it does require removal of the tank and the air box, so please go back and view those videos first. And uh, um, in today's episode, we are going to uh, change out all four spark plugs. So let's get to it. Thanks for watching. Okay, so once you've got the air box removed, you can move on to uh, removing these two coil packs. Um, I'm going to remove these two uh, um, heat deflectors here um, just to get them out of my way so it gives me a little more room. And those guys also remove this uh, plate here for your gas tank. So that gives us a little more room to work. So we got one T30 here. Pull that out. Unplug it. and pull the coil pack off. All right, way down in there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is your spark plug. Way down there. All right, same thing up front. We got a plug here. That one's easier to get to, so we unplug it. those guys out of the way and we're going to unplug that one all right so we need to keep these guys separate so this is going to the back this one goes to the front so here is the new spark plug um, this comes directly from Harley Davidson obviously um, Looks like it's a proprietary thing. I haven't tried to cross-reference anything yet, but uh, I went to Harley and got these. It is a very, very thin, long thread, 14 millimeter. So we're gonna change these two outside ones and then figure out what I can do for the inside one because all I have is a deep well that just barely makes it. So I might be able to get it in there and get it on, but once the threads come loose, I don't know what we're going to be able to do. So let's, uh, let's get these outside ones changed real quick. Nope. All right, so I apparently I'm going to have to go buy a 14 millimeter spark plug wrench because I'm not going to be able to get those out of there. OK, so I went and got a 14 millimeter uh, spark plug wrench because it just wasn't going to come out with a regular 14 millimeter. You got to have that little rubber in there to pull it out. So you can see it actually doesn't look too bad, but we are going to swap them out here. There's number one. Now that one up there, uh, you see that one in the front there, um, you've got some limited space here, so I'm gonna have to use a shorter extension to get in there.
and you can see that front cylinder's got a bunch of dirt on top, so. I don't wanna get anything down in there. So be very careful. I probably should have wiped that off, but wiping it off, I run the risk of dropping dirt into that front hole. I don't wanna do that. So we'll just do this very carefully. These things have some extreme, there it is, extremely long. We got a little build up there, but the electrode looks good. You can see the part number there, FL10 or uh, 31600190. Front ones. Now these front ones I already loosened up with the other, the other one that I had, um, just because I could, and I wanted to see what I could do before I ran to the store. But you can see both of those, both of those look good. So uh, nothing there to worry about. It's just a matter of getting them changed out according to Harley Davidson's service. I don't know why this one was so hard to start, but it started. Now that I get it at a better angle, it goes right in. So, there we go. So let's put our coil packs back in. Let's get a rag and clean that up a little bit. Plugging back in. Okay, there's one in. Number two. Cuckoo, kachoo. Make sure I'm not pinching any wires here, like those. Where's my little guy? Where is my little guy? Okay, plug him back in, and there we go. That is for that, that is for that. Okay, so there is the spark plugs changed. So, you're going to need a 14 millimeter spark plug wrench. If you have one, great. If you don't, you're gonna have to go out and get one because a regular 14 millimeter wrench isn't gonna work. So from here, I'm gonna move on to uh, some uh, other project as far as uh, uh, rewiring my GPS because I'm gonna run the wires up under here and plug them back into here. So, um, and get rid of this one. Where am I? I don't know, we'll see. So uh, that'll be in another video. So anyway, that is the spark plug change. 
Okay, so now that we've got all of our spark plugs removed and uh, uh, replaced, um, it's time to uh, uh, address some of this uh, wiring issues that I have. Um, like I said before, or maybe I didn't, I don't remember. Um, but uh, uh, my GPS, I wanted to rewire. Uh, I've got it currently connected directly to the battery and I wanted to connect it to a keyed power source. So we are going to uh, move on to that in the next video here. So you can check that out here. Thanks for watching.